what's up guys? It's your boy Carlos Hermani. We're back with another episode of What's Go Flavor, where we like to tap in with folks that are passionate about what they do and dope at doing it. Today, I get to sit down with my friend, Anthony. I knew him as famous. You might know him as Chef Tony, but the owner and operator of Classic Eats in Old Burien. So my man, so long time coming. We've been talking about doing this. <laughs> COVID got in our way. Just a lot of bit, a little bit of everything. But basically, I wanted to, I mean, I've known you and saw the whole progression. Yes. But I wanted to let the people in a little bit of, on what you're doing, why you're doing it, you know, just kind of just like your, your story. So yeah. let, let's tap into it. Like, what got you in into this? Well, as you know, <laughs> from having the record company and being a legend in Seattle for what I did for music. Yes. On the streets and everything. Thousands um, of records sold out of the trunk. I yeah, was there. I saw it. 60,000 sold on the streets by yours truly. Hello. Most people don't believe that, <laughs> but I did it. Um, uh, man, just thought of, you know, my background. Um, I, I'm from New Orleans, so I was already introduced to food. I already had a passion for it, but um, it was showcased when they brought me into the industry. And I'm like, oh man, I like this. I, this is where I needs to be at. That's where I should be at. Right. So from there, I just um, kept grinding. You know, I started from the bottom, you know, working in the warehouse at Azteca, working as a dishwasher, busser, cook, manager, did it all, you know, from the bottom all the way up. From the mud, as they say. From the mud, you know, and um, I was blessed. And I got the opportunity from my father-in-law, you know, giving me the opportunity to, um, to be introduced to the industry. And from there, I just took off, you know? Yeah. And you know, from Azteca to Desert Fire. Then, I remember um, that over there in Kirkland, if y'all don't remember. In Redmond, going over Washington. There. Yes. Yeah, yes. Fire. Oh, I'm sorry, Redmond, my Redmond. bad. I know it was on the east side. We used to throw a lot of parties, yes. huge parties. Um, then from there, I, you know, I worked at a couple of catering places, you know, just to learn the catering game. Then I, you know, went to the corporate restaurant, um, Cheesecake Factory, mm. which I learned a lot, you know? Um, and then from there, I came, opportunity came up for come back home to Oberian. Yeah. And here we are, Classic Eat was birth. Yes, yes. And how long, uh, how long we been here? Four years, four years. Dang, time flies. December, December 1st will be four years, man. That's four awesome. Four years. That's awesome. And, uh, so basically, it seems like you, you took a lot of, you know, things that you already knew from, you know, just your, your people. I knew, I knew you are just like a people person, yeah. you know what I mean, in terms of being able to connect with folks. It first started with music, mm -hmm. then it moved into food. Um, and tell me what that was like to be able to, like, you worked and were very good at working underneath a brand, you know, if it's mm -hmm. Cheesecake, they're known for mm -hmm. X, Y, Z. I mean, mm -hmm. they got the encyclopedia menu, yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, learning that game and, you know, Azteca is, you know, famous for their for their Mexican cuisine. Mm -hmm. But here, it seemed like you had a chance to kind of start fresh and create your own thing. What, what was that like? Well, yeah, it was, it was definitely, um, I took something, I took some of the best things from all of those places that I've been in. And coming from New Orleans, obviously I'm gonna bring a Cajun influence in here, you know? So through all my um, my journey, my roadmap to success, I just picked the, the best of the best and created something that was dope. Yeah, dope, no, you know? And it seemed like it was it was welcome with open arms and, and open taste buds uh, from Burien. Like I've been out here, you know, with different street fairs and, and different things that you guys have done. And it seemed like the, the neighborhood just kind of welcomed uh, this place. What was that like? Yeah, it was good because I mean, <laughs> I'm kind of the L. Bundy of Virian, man. People still talk about all the stuff I did in football. Four touchdowns. Oh yeah, I'm like the L. Bundy of Virian. It's a big, it's a, it's, it's, it's what a- What high school did you go to? Highline. Shout out to Highline. Uh, it's a long standing joke, man, but it's funny though. But it, every day is a high school reunion for me. Every single day is a high school reunion. And I love it. I'm happy to be back in Virian, you know, and um, I embrace it, you know? I mean, we all, like I tell all the restaurant owners, we all sell, share, share the same regulars. We all do, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, they're not just coming here; they come into each one of us, you know. Right. But um, we definitely diversify Oberian single-handedly, you right. know. I mean, Jimmy Mata, the mayor, said it himself, you know. And um, that was that was important for me to di diversify it, you know. I mean, we have such a huge variety of people that come from here, man. Absolutely. From from doctors, lawyers, mayors. Every walks of life, you know, blue collar, blue collar yeah. white collar, you know, everything, every nationality comes class peak. So no. it's awesome. I love it. No, and I love that. And, and you know, I've been a big fan of of coming through for uh, your brunch. You guys are are famous for legendary, you know, <laughs> legendary. Oh, you know, yeah. I've had you even cater your brunch food at some of our events outside yeah. of here. So I'm, I'm already knowing. Um, let's take a quick cut. How can we, can we bring him out of this sun? How, how much further? Like right here? Want to recenter? Uh, that way his face is cool. Yeah, right. 
Literally, it is moved by half an inch. Like right yeah. now, it's perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So right there. And then it might get. You, you want to recenter? So so it, it's even. It's good. Yeah, I can give you that. Alright, so I'll uh, bring you back in. Count me. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, speaking of diversity, I mean, like, I've been a patient. You know what I mean? I come through with the uh, on the brunch as much as I can, uh, you know, especially pre COVID, right? Mm -hmm. And you will see literally all, all walks of life, especially if you're coming in on a Sunday, you're getting people that's coming in before, after church, people coming in for sports games, mm -hmm. people, just this whole, just, just mixture of folks that just come in to have some good food and, and have that good energy. Uh, style. I don't know how you do it. Maybe you uh, you steal people for a, a Chick Fil A, but everyone's always happy, right? That, well, that was the biggest. Here. That was the biggest thing for me. Not the only um, manage the restaurant, but I'm managing 50% of their life. So right. 50% of their life belongs to me. I want to make sure we have fun. Right. You know, it's the restaurant industry. We're gonna be stressed out at times. But 95% of the time, we're having fun here. And you can see it in all my staff. Absolutely. They love to be here. Anybody who don't work for me, or who can't work for me, is because they're lazy. Right, you right. Know? Anybody who's motivated and want to work and want to grow, they're going to work for me and they're going to do well here. Absolutely. You know, all my staff are ex-GMs, ex-managers. They all manage, used to manage something, so they have that managerial experience, you know? Right. And you just bring that into the uh, into the game, and, and it shows. I mean, the success uh, of it um, for the last four years. Like I said, I've been able to, to see it grow, see the the catering side grow, see mm -hmm. the, um, the 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 food um, meal prepping. You know, mm -hmm. uh, jumped off. I'm always liking and sharing because mm -hmm. it's like my thing. Like, if I believe in it, I'm gonna tell the world. Right. Exactly. Part of the reason why I'm here now. It's like people that are are passionate about what they do, and then mm -hmm. they're dope at it. So I've definitely been able to to see that. Um, and that speaking of the last four years, that brings us into 2020. You know, mm -hmm. like I tell people, so my, my favorite and, and my my worst year in terms of got married, but I had my first baby and COVID hits yeah. and all my business is gone and we got to pivot and do all these different things. But with you, speaking of pivoting, what was that like during that, that COVID time and for how me, did you address that? Um, for me, I didn't have to pivot too much because I already had the meal prep thing going. So our meal prep was me being an amateur bodybuilder. So I already had this milk prep nice thing going. Though. I'm all right, <laughs> you know. Had this going, so I didn't have to pivot too much. We already had a strong to-go game and our catering was intact, you know. Mm -hmm. So we had all those moving parts before this. Mm -hmm. When this happened, we shut down for a month and a half just to regroup to see the world shut down, you right. know. So we're Absolutely. part of the world, so we had to shut down. But we came back, he gave me an opportunity to think, you know, how are we gonna address this? How are we gonna do it? But really, I didn't, I didn't have to change anything. Right. I just have to keep doing what I was doing, you know? Some of my corporate accounts went down, but that's that was normal. Now they're starting to come back. Right. And we're just showing them a different way how we can prep their meals and, and, and diversify the food. Right. So that's that's pretty dope. So it's kind of one of those things where you had all your lanes, all your paths kind of already set mm -hmm. up. They were just adjusting. So it's yeah. like, hey, we're going to do less of this and let's put some more time and energy exactly. into that. So you're able to keep most of your staff and exactly. stuff like that? Most of the staff, like I say, most of our staff stayed. And what, what I'm trying to tell my staff is like, maybe you don't see the people in here because we are at 50%. But we also have a virtual restaurant now. Right. You know, right. ClassicEatsBerian.com is a virtual restaurant. You know, we're getting so much business online, it's astronomical. So the seats that we don't see here, we have a virtual, we right. see virtual. Absolutely, no, I mean, like I said, partly because of quote, partly because, you know, I have a pregnant wife at home, but we've definitely been doing a lot more DoorDash, Uber Eats, yeah. you know, all the things above and, and want to do that. So that's another thing too, is is being ahead of the game and or just be, being prepared. That's why I always tell people, be prepared for the opportunities that present themselves and having a, uh, a uh, online presence was, yeah. was a key factor for you guys, right? That was huge for me. That's why I say I sit time and I was analyzing and seeing what we can do online because I wasn't very, I was online, but I wasn't online right, right now. You know, right. I'm like super active online and every chance I get to showcase meals, staff, party, whatever we're doing, I'm trying to showcase that online because that's what it's about now. So that's oh. what it's about now, you know, social media. If you don't have social media, 
Right, what are you doing? What are you doing? doing? That that definitely gets to be always, every time I'm on here. We're not warming food up on a stove no more. We use microwaves, you know? That's just evolving. Right. Even McDonald's evolved. You have to. Right, you gotta be ready to go. So speaking of evolving, we started off with plated food, and I see some of the stuff here. Tell me me a little bit about uh, what we got going going on here. If if we can see here. Uh, Award-winning wine. We got it. We get it crafted in Eastern Washington, Richmond. You know, we have a special uh, white wine, and we also have a red one that's blended over there. Um, it's good. It's a hit. It's a huge hit. I like it. When did that? When did this start? It Cheers, started. By the way. Salute. This started four years ago. Mm. So off the bat, it was like it was important for me to craft our own wine, have our own wine branded to bring it into our restaurant. You know, we have to have our own product. Right. Because a lot of people that don't know, it's a diverse menu. Exactly. Like you can literally, I mean, I come in a lot for brunch just because the, the, the breakfast food is amazing. Mm-hmm. But like, I mean, you catered my my uh, my stepmom's, you know, uh, uh, retirement dinner. And oh, yeah. that was, you know, uh, different pastas mm-hmm. and other things like that. So this is where something like this would mm-hmm. come into play with uh, with that dinner crowd. Yep. Correct. That's awesome. That's, that's what I love to hear. Mm-hmm. So we uh, talked about this journey of starting and growing and what can people look to in the future? Future Classic Eats, future, um, we, I'm coming with something. <laughs> I'm coming, don't worry. So our, um, at, at, this, at this moment right now, I'm gonna um, revamp my meal prep. It's gonna be crazy, 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 crazy ridiculous because parents at home, parents tired of cooking. I'm gonna solve your problem. Let me fix your problem. So I'm gonna revamp my meal prep program um catering i revamped that i have a new menu coming out next week um and a future restaurant or bar it's coming soon i I won't tell you the name i'm gonna keep it secret it might not be classic but it's coming so relax where's that gonna be obviously it's gonna be in my demographics it's gonna be des moines burien normandy park it's gonna be around this area excellent you know but if i get a good deal you never know love to hear that and then uh, as far as socials, where can people catch up with you? Where can they find you? Facebook, you can go to Classic Eats Facebook. You can go to Classic Eats Instagram. You can even follow me on Tony Hayes Facebook. Excellent, and then what's the website one more time? ClassicEatsBurian.com, ClassicEatsBurian.com. We're getting away from the Uber Eats and DoorDash. We want you to order directly from our site. Make sure your orders are 100% correct. Order directly from our site at ClassicEatsBurian.com. So that's why that's why I love to hear. And then for some of you who don't know, a lot of these things are real convenient, but a lot of times, man, they're 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 digging deep into the pockets of the restaurant tour. So it might be convenient for us, but I mean, there you know, I've heard things of 20, 30, you know, 40 percent of what they're taking, you know, for the convenience factor. So if you're able to go around that and, and deal directly with the small business owner, that's what you uh, that's what you want to do. So support local, support small business. And that's what it's all about, man. Together we can get through this for sure. So I appreciate you of taking course. taking the time, doing uh, yeah, doing what you're doing. Um, so next, I need to do what I do, and we're gonna walk into this photo shoot one time, and then we're gonna bring you into basically this is. I mean, again, I've had everything on the menu, so it's it's a little cheating for me. But if I was the first time person, you know, I'm the, I'm the out of town family member or whatever. I, I look up, you know, um, Yelp, you know, Classic mm-hmm. Eats, and it's all, all kinds of stars and, and good things. What should I have? What do, what's, what's that meal that I should start out with that will set me off on telling everyone else to come back? Me and Argentina shrimp pasta. Argentina shrimp pasta is amazing. The meatloaf sliders is amazing. For dessert, the waffle rush is amazing, you know? For beverages, the strawberry martini. Um, it's, it's, it's just so many, the menu side diverse. Right. It's hard to ask me because right. I want everything. <laughs> you know? So as far as today, what, are, what, are, what do we got? To today we're going to work on our Argentina shrimp pasta. We're going to work on uh, meatloaf sliders. We're going to um, pick the waffle rush dessert. Excellent. So with that, you guys got to understand this is this is a, a piece of the pie, right? So we're just going to go behind the behind the scenes exclusive into, uh, into Chef's Kitchen here and uh, show you guys how some of this is made, some of the energy uh, back there. And then we're going to bring out some finished product to uh, show you guys what it's all about. Stay tuned.
What's up guys, it's your boy, we back with What's Your Flavor with Carlos Simani. All right, so for y'all that might just be tuning in and that messed up, but you missed out a great conversation with my man, Tony, the owner and operator of Classic Heat. So we went through and talked about his passions with food and just hustle in general and how he's applied it to what he has going on now. And we did some headshots with them in, in the back to show y'all a little bit about what I do, that's just part of our flow. And then we jumped into the kitchen. And you guys, I mean, if you've ever been able to, you know, see some live music or watch some people painting uh, live, I mean, when people are passionate and they're just really about their art, watching them work is, is just amazing. So that's basically what we get, just got done doing. And you guys will see uh, some clips of that as well. But now we have those same three items that he was talking to you about as far as if you were to come here for the very first time, y'all need to try this and you're going to walk away happy and you're going to walk away probably needing a nap. You're gonna walk away trying to find the next person to tell to come down and eat at Classic Eats. My man, so what do we got here? What do we got going on? We have the strawberry arugula salad, which is a signature salad. We sell tons of strawberry arugula salad. I've had a lot of this. Cranberries, almonds, blue cheese crumbles, strawberry, grilled chicken, marinating, and then our special marinade sauce. Oh yeah. You know? And well, what would you bear with this one? What we got going on? I mean, you have a, you have a, uh, a lemon mojito. It's Great. Those two combinations, girl, you're on a citrus thing. That is really good, you know, for the summertime. Excellent. I love my parents. Yeah. And what we got next? We got the uh, meatloaf sliders, which is a unique signature dish. I mean, you have your um, your meatloaf, arugula, parmesan cheese, goat cheese, olive oil, um, peppercorn, caramelized onions, barbecue sauce. You got so much going on with this with this um, with this appetizer, but it's it's, it's like. Your tongue is break dancing, you know? It's kind of crazy, you know? It's nuts. It's one of my favorites. So one thing I love about this is just the portions, right? So many times you go somewhere and they got this little baby carrot and they're talking about this art with the, some sauce spread across it. But here it's like you got, like you can walk away from this full. Like this could be, man, this is my meal. It's going to be lunch, dinner, whatever. And even these appetizers, low key, this could be a little bit of a, a baby meal if you wanted to. You know? I like it. You know, the plans that you play for Seahawks are Yeah, what would you pair this with? I mean, a little Elysian. Elysian is a local local company out here. Shout out Northwest Brood. Yeah, they're out here. And we, I mean, you can do it with a Mac and Jack and Manny. Got Elysian. Yeah, got Super a little, Buzz. Super good. Yeah. I love, it, I love it. And I, I, can, I can smell the aroma from here. What we got going on over there? We got here? an Argentina shrimp lobster. The Argentina shrimps are like little baby lobsters. They're good. <laughs> Super good. With a penne pasta, penne pasta. And um, with um, roasted tomatoes, portobello, asparagus. Julian veggies, um, we have zucchini, peppers, red peppers, green peppers, parmesan cheese, garlic bread. This is amazing. This is amazing. It's, it's a cream based sauce made from scratch. Everything here is made from scratch. There's no cans, no none of that. Everything's made from scratch. So this is super it. good. It's one of my signature items. It looks like it's almost all of the, uh, the major food groups. Like I would feel okay, you know, they're talking about, you know, especially if you're uh, on a diet or something like that, you gotta stay away from the pasta. But with this one, it's almost like a little, little salad <laughs> with your pasta. No, I love it. And then what would you pair with that guy? Oh, uh, red wine. Red wine, of course, classic eats. Red wine. Oh, yeah, for that. Salute. I love it, I love it. Merlot. <laughs> You can do a um, you can do a Merlot, you can do a Cab, you can do a Chard, not a Chardonnay, but um, a three blend red wine. Excellent, I love this. So you guys, you have it here. These are you can't go wrong with any of these kind of depending on where you're at. You know what I mean? What you're in the mood for. And again, this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of this uh, this menu. You won't be disappointed with brunch. You won't be disappointed with lunch. You won't be disappointed with dinner. Literally, whenever you want to come through, they got something for you. And of course, you know, the next thing we got to do is videotape it. We're going to go in a little bit deeper, get some money shots with it. Again, this is all about shining light. You know what I mean? I want, the whole purpose of this is to tap in with folks that are passionate about what they do and they're dope at doing it. My man Tony's been doing this for a while and this is just the fruits of his labor. So we want to go ahead and amplify that message, get some dope photos, some dope video, so you guys at home can see what they got going on and you want to come through and support. And also, I mean, really, you're doing yourself a favor. But here we are. We're about to tap in with it. And of course, taste test. Tap in, guys. 